Hi Leo, welcome to your weekly forecast. This reading is from the 5th through to the 11th of March 2018. This week I'm using the Rider Waite um, Radiant Tarot and the Rider Waite Original Tarot. Okay, so this reading is for Sun, Moon and Rising Sign Leo. And it is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you have any personal questions, you need a personal reading, so you can visit my website, katietarot.com, and you can book your reading with me there. So, Leo, let's take a look at the week ahead. So we have the Page of Pentacles, Strength, Five of Cups, Six of Wands, the Devil. Okay, so um, Leo, okay, well, Leo, you're right in the middle. Strength, so this is your card. This represents you in the matter. Okay, so it looks like you may be um, having a Capricorn around you um, as well. Okay, so they're the personalities we're working with here. Um, now, Leo, this is going to be an interesting week for you because it looks like um, there may be some scenario that you got yourself into and you want to act like the devil. So you want to be deceptive or you want to be cunning or you want to uh, get your own way about something. Um, now this may or may not be justified of course uh, but it looks like that is how it's going to go down because you are upset about something or you might want to get revenge on someone if we're talking about love. So you may have because yeah, you're kind of looking down there with the Five of Cups and it looks like you are feeling quite uh, distressed about something that you have tried to create balance with and you've tried, you really have in this relationship or this um, scenario in your life, you've really tried to work things through. Um, but, you know, this week something's going to happen where you just feel like um, maybe you need to manipulate a situation or you, you're having thoughts or ideas about doing something that is, um, you know, it's not, it's not in a high vibration, guys. It's not in a high vibration. So if you, I mean, everyone gets these, these uh, tendencies, of course, but this week it's showing up particularly clear for you guys. So, you know, just be aware of those energies and, um, and try and work through them rather than act on them because spirit wants you to, uh, really harness the energy of the Six of Wands, which is the recognition that things are going to be okay and you're going to get on top of things. It might not seem like it because you, you're kind of in your emotions this week, Leo, and it's uncomfortable for you. It's uncomfortable. And um, the Spirit does want you to know that you will be victorious in the situation. You will have a good outcome. It's just you're going through the process at the moment and it's a little bit um, challenging. Okay, it's a bit challenging. It looks like some kind of opportunity or news came your way. Um, or it looks like something is not looking like it's going to get off the ground. But guys, it's just for this week, remember. Okay, so just when these energies come in, um, it's either saying, look, Spirit's either saying that it is a Capricorn to be aware of, Sun, Moon or Rising sign, or another Leo, Sun, Moon or Rising sign, or it is the fact that you're going to be, um, yeah, looking at doing something deceptive or just something that is not in your best interest. Also, they're telling me that some of you are giving, going to give away your power to another person or to a situation because it's like you're, you're kind of giving in and you're thinking, oh, well, you know, this is not going to work out anyway or, oh, well, I better just do this and it'll be okay. Um, Spirit is saying don't do that. Okay, if you're thinking about giving away your power this week to someone, don't do that. So let's get some more clarity here. We have the Seven of Wands, the Ace of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, the Magician, 
and strength down the bottom as well. Okay, so we have two strengths coming up here. Yeah, so don't be overly aggressive. If someone has annoyed you or if someone has upset you in some way, it could be another theme, it could be, yeah, it could be a female or it could be another person that is uh, close to you. It feels like it could be a work situation for some of you and it could be a female in that work environment. Um, and maybe your partner as well. There is going to be a tendency here for you to make a scene or to um, confront someone. Now, Spirit is saying, of course, maintain your truth, of course. Maintain your truth always, but um, but don't lash out or don't say anything negative. Really kind of hold your tongue this week, guys, because it's not going to do you any good if you just... Um, if you just kind of let it all go. So Spirit is saying keep in your mind that things are going to turn out okay and we've got the magician so you can ultimately change this situation to benefit you or to um, help whatever you want to get out of this situation you're going to be able to get out of the situation. Really it's as basic as that and that's what Spirit wants you to know about it. It might not feel like that, it really might not from what I'm seeing here but that's the truth of the matter. So really look around you and really see what um, you can do uh, to to help you in this situation. You know, it feels like you you have to maintain your boundaries this week, Leo. Okay, you you have to you have to. It's it's a prerogative for you this week to maintain your boundaries and to speak your truth as well, of course. Um, but, you know, you don't want to fall into this trap of being angry or um, getting those lower vibrations happening, guys. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. Ultimately, you have the power of the magician, which means that you have the authority over your own life to decide what it is that you want to happen and you got and you're going to see that and if you lift yourself up out of those vibrations you will see that you will have victory over this situation it doesn't matter if it's a relationship or whether it's a um in your work life or whatever area of life this is um don't if you can try not to feel like you're getting down about this news or this information about someone or you know so some people might be coming at you and and that might feel like they're attacking you somehow um and it could be a you know it could be an argument or something potentially with a partner or a disagreement or just a heavy workload or whatever this is for you five of cups energy We have the Nine of Pentacles overlaying the Five of Cups. So that's saying to me, um, some kind of abundance or some kind of um, independence or some kind of um, feeling like something is really good and abundant in your life. It, it feels like that's been taken away from you or at least someone has said something to you and, it, and it's the perception of it being taken away from you. Okay, so um, that may or may not be the actual case. So just take stock of what's really going on around you this week, Leo, and uh, really try and lift up those vibration guys because it's not going to do you any good to get angry or frustrated about the situation or, um, or anything like that because it is just a transitory energy. It is going to pass, but it is going to come in this week. So just be aware of that. And Spirit really is highlighting this for you. So then you're able to really work with these energies in the best way possible. Um, so you can overcome these difficulties. So you can overcome these and, and maintain your boundaries. I really feel some of you are going to either, you might even get back with an ex or you might have a, you might you're going to go you're going to go against your better judgment somehow that's what spirit is saying here so try not to go against your better judgment and maintain your boundaries and communicate in a very clear way about about things to people and you're going to get the best out of the circumstance for yourself okay so interesting read for this week guys i am wishing you all the best for the week ahead and navigating these energies 
and so I will talk to you again soon. Bye for now.